This is Steve with Nebraska Star Beef, and today we're going to talk a little bit about shipping frozen products with dry ice. So we get quite a few questions about shipping our products and how do we use standard shipping, be it FedEx or UPS, whichever carrier, and use standard shipping and deliver frozen products all across the United States while keeping those products frozen? The answer is right here, dry ice. And a lot of people don't understand how dry ice works beyond it keeps things frozen. Dry ice is neat stuff, but you have to be careful with it. You'll notice I'm wearing gloves today. And that is because dry ice is, frozen carbon dioxide. This chunk of dry ice is negative 109 degrees Fahrenheit. Another cool thing about dry ice, you can see, oh yeah, yep, right down here. You can see the steam coming off the dry ice. Well, that's not steam, that's carbon dioxide. And dry ice is unique in that instead of melting like regular ice, ice made of water, dry ice sublimates, which means it goes from a solid to a gas and it skips the liquid process altogether. That's where it gets the name dry ice, is it doesn't make a mess when it melts. And that's one of the reasons that we use dry ice. One of the other reasons that we use dry ice is because it is very, very efficient. There is a lot of cold energy in this. This is probably a seven pound block of dry ice. This seven pound block of dry ice will, properly packaged, keep steaks in this cooler frozen easily for five days. Now the keys to getting the most out of dry ice is making sure that there's not a lot of excessive space in the cooler. So when you receive a package from us, you'll find packing paper on the bottom, typically, depending on which products you order. You'll find the product, you'll find more packing paper, dry ice, packing paper, and then other paperwork to include a dry ice warning. Now, when you receive your order, there's a very good chance that this dry ice has completely sublimated. Sometimes the dry ice will be in a bag like this, the bag will remain. Other times, depending on the dry ice, the dry ice will just be gone, there will be no bag, and it can look like the order was shipped without ice. However, the steaks will very likely still be frozen if not completely frozen, partially frozen. And as long as those steaks are partially frozen and cold to the touch, they are absolutely fine to either refreeze or use right away. So dry ice can, and we've, we've talked to a number of customers who get a package that it, the dry ice wasn't in a bag, that ice is completely gone and they perceive that that order was shipped without any type of ice packs, which is not the case. It's simply a case of the dry ice doing what it naturally does over time, sublimating and simply disappearing. So anyway, that's a little more on shipping frozen products with dry ice. Hope you found that informative. If you didn't know that dry ice was a really cool product that uh, that skips the whole liquid part of its existence, now you know.